Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this Aries. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aries with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aries, what we have on the table is um, distant horizons, despair, main female. At the bottom of the deck, we have concern. Okay, so it, it looks like somebody went out on their own. Somebody said, you know what, I don't want to be a part of this, whatever this is anymore somebody is doing some independent work or they have some independent dreams aspirations away from away from um a corporation an entity or a person someone said you know what i'm just going to do my own thing i don't want to be involved in this anymore um, because it looks like somebody was trying to make you the number two person um you may have put a lot of energy effort time into this relationship or this business or this idea and somebody was trying to make you the number two person when you were really the number one or you should be number one um you put distance between you and this person here because you're going after what it is you really want some of you were willing to let your hopes and dreams your wishes you know fall by the wayside or subside just to be with this person or you were compromising you were compromising your self-respect maybe even your dignity to even be with this person just to be alongside of this person and it was probably getting you nowhere and yielding you very little at the end of the day you felt like you fill in the blank and you didn't get what it is you really wanted for yourself or your life this person is in great despair maybe even you too you feel the boy there's so much that has happened between the two of you there's so much maybe distance space and time so many emotions between the two of you you don't even know how to work through them the best that you both can do right now is just rest in the, the seat of emotions. Despair. It is over. We don't know how to come back together. Yes, we still love each other. have a love for one another. But how do we mend, you know, these fences? How do we mend each other's broken heart? Broken heart? Um, how do we, you know, patch up the bridge or walk, walk it back? Is what someone is asking. Someone is very pessimistic about this ever turning over and um, it ever being good. It's very pessimistic. Maybe they're even a bit depressed also because it, it's so bad. It turned so bad. And maybe even it, it turned bad. No, this was over a, a, a specific amount of time. This was over a specific amount of time that you dealt with this person and things turned bad. And you were willing to compromise, but then you, you woke up, you had some wake up call. Maybe you had some come to Jesus moment. The distant horizon card is also about spirituality and, you know, practicing more spirituality. Maybe you got to a place where you just said, you know what, I can do better. I am better. This doesn't even fit me spiritually on a soul level here. This person could also be married or already has someone in their life and they wanted you as the number two lady, the other woman, the main female. You get the main female because you are the person that they're giving all of the energy, effort, time to. There's a displacement. Though the other woman has the title, you have the energy, the time, the, the uh, effort, the love. There's sight to sit on you so you're the main female just the main female you aren't the privileged lady you aren't the marital person you aren't the spouse but you are the main female in their life okay um or this is what this is the capacity they wanted you in um this person could be depressed that you took away your energy you took away the love you took away the likeness whatever y'all have between each other somebody is like well what do i do how do i get it back what can i do to get it back uh, someone is thinking in deep thought, but they're very depressed and they're very pessimistic and they're not moving and all of those things. Travel. Someone wants to come towards you. Uh, 
um, you could have met this person while you were traveling. They might want to travel with you. They may have to travel to you. You guys don't live in the same city or maybe even the same state or country or wherever. I don't know. Um, there's an element of travel here also. This person could do something for work that um, involves travel or modes of, of uh, transportation. Um, this person also could do like import, export. They could, uh, yeah, they could travel for work, whether it's locally or it's long distance. This person could be using travel as a, a, a reason to see you, is what they tell their spouse. This person also could be using travel to meet up with other women and or men or whatever you're into. This person could get around. This person, this also, this card also could speak about not just being so restless. You know, this person just doesn't let grass grow under their feet. They travel around. They have a rotation for some of these people. Let's see. What else does this person, what's going on with this person? Courting man, they want to court you. They want to date you. They want to date you exclusively. So they want you to be exclusive to them. I don't know if they're going to be exclusive to you. But they do want exclusivity one way, okay? Um, this person is willing to spend money on you, travel with you, take you places, and maybe they've done this or, they all, or they're willing to do it. This person could be a businessman, businesswoman, someone who dresses for work, dresses for the occasion. This is someone who has a lot of prestige, a good reputation, especially in business matters. Karma. Something about karma. Something is instantly being... Uh, instantly happening for this person it could be gossip that someone is gossiping about um this person gets around they got a lot of people that they they deal with whether it's sexually or whether it's just a whole bunch of flirtation um karma someone's saying that this person is getting their karma they're getting what is due unto them what is that? What is this about? What is that karma about? What is this person getting? Um, you need, this person is um, going to be stuck with the person that they deserve. Mm, the person they deserve. Not the person they want. Not the person that they need in their life, but they deserve. Um, some, some about this person being stuck in a union here. It's instant karma. Or, it, or because they they cheat on their spouse, they're getting instant karma. A lot of people are gossiping about this person here. Let's see what this person wants to tell you or what you should know about this connection. This person could live in a small community or, or there's a small knit. So the cards want you to know you were a rebound. I can't reach the card, but I see it. So you were a rebound or are a rebound, I don't know. Um, someone is saying I'm more spiritual than you, that's our problem. And then we have that distant horizon card that talks about spirituality. So I think someone has a, you know, they're woke, more woke than the other person. They're more, you know, they have more spirituality, value, moral than the other person. Um, someone is saying, look, if you find someone new, I will pursue you just to sabotage your new connection. This is a person who is just, um, there's a bit of evil about them. They're also very depressed and misery, love comp misery loves company. This person is in a union with someone that they could be karmic for them. They're in a karmic connection, but they won't get out of it, okay? So they feel like uh, if you go find someone new, I'm just going to sabotage you because I want you to be in the same miserable state as I am. I don't want you to be happy and away from me. So keep in mind, that's how somebody feels. Um, someone is saying, um, you like expensive things and I don't think I can afford you. Interesting. Um, there's also an energy of you give too much. Somebody's giving too much um, just giving too much love, too much time, too much energy. Um, wow. So I'm saying I'm never going to stop cheating. Um, and they're saying that you are the most understanding person I've ever met. Someone is saying this is a match made in hell. Um, or someone isn't a match made in hell. 
this is this is a shit show. Um, someone is going to end up with the person that they deserve. Okay, and someone could also be like trying to do like speak badly or poorly about someone. Um, someone also could be um, like um, trying to do like spell ritual. I don't know. Um, there's a lot of gossip around this person because this person gets around. Someone's saying, will you just take me back already? Jeez. Someone's saying, well, if you move on, so will I. So somebody's waiting for you to, to pull the trigger or you're waiting for the other person to pull the trigger. Someone's saying, I want more than one person. What do I do? Um, and they're putting all of this on you. They're saying, look, you knew what this was from the beginning. Very interesting. This person has very little remorse. Um, they don't have any real course of where this connection will go. They want you back. This person also just wants you to be a part of hell, hell date. I don't know what the fuck. This is crazy. They just want you to be, um, maybe they want you to be forever, you know, accessible to them. So they're going to sabotage, connect, sabotage your connections. Um, this person gets around people are already gossiping about how they're married and they're still out here good luck um, let me know how it resonates for you Aries if you want newness in your life if you want to manifest new energy get in on the new moon manifestations happening this Friday July 9th um, how to sign up for that will be below in the description box. Also, there'll be a video following this one where it will give you uh, instruction. Also, if you want to manifest new love, new streams of income, banish energy, people, places, things, fear, anxiety, get in on these manifestations, guys, so that I can read new energy for all of you because I'm so tired of reading the same story for all 12 zodiac signs um i know you're tired of hearing it i'm tired of reading it get in on newness okay guys thank you many blessings to you take care